I'm in Leamington, Ontario, the tomato capital of Canada. Ontario produces more than half the greenhouse tomatoes grown in the country, and Leamington is home to the biggest producer in North America. Paul Mastronardi is the fourth generation president of Mastronardi Produce, the company that grows and sells Sunset Brand tomatoes. When I have this tomato in my hand, there's a lot of work behind. How does it start? We'll bring in a baby plant into the greenhouse and it'll be about uh, eight to 10 weeks before we'll see the first fruit. Okay. In a greenhouse, we can get up to uh, 10 to 20 times the yield that we can out of a field wow. per square foot. With the greenhouse, we can baby our uh, plants. We protect them from rain, we protect them from outside animals and wind, and we can control the actual environment with temperature, humidity, the exact amount of water. And you're recycling everything. Yeah, yeah so we recycle all the water and the fertilizer, so the plants aren't on the ground anymore. We're up in the air. And what that allows us to do is get very good circulation for the plants. Okay. Um, it allows us to catch the water that the plants don't drink, which is called leach. Okay. And then even more important for the worker, it's ergonomic. So now we harvest everything at waste level. We're not bending over to harvest anymore. Okay. So it's very efficient. And then we use um, kind of like a train system down each row called a scissor cart. <laughs> and that allows the employee to be on a scissor cart. It's electric and it moves at their desired speed and they're hands free. And work comfortably. Correct. How do you pollinize so many indoor tomato plants? So bumblebees live in the greenhouse all the time. Yeah, they pollinate uh, every single flower as they come out and they don't want to leave because this is a candy factory. There's so much pollen in here. <laughs> yeah, it's, I guess. it's just sugar station for them. How do you pick which one you're gonna put on the market? It must be complicated. Uh, yeah, there's a process that we do and ultimately it ends up with flavor. Flavor's the ultimate uh, decider. Tasting every year? Yes. Uh, tasting every week. Every week. Yes. And trying to figure what we want in Canada and in the rest of the world for the years to come? Correct, because everybody's palettes aren't the same. So yeah. the Quebec market actually likes usually a pink tomato and the rest of the market likes a red tomato and you can we ship stuff to Japan, so Asia, and they like a different type of tomato as well. So we have to make a tomato almost for every different uh, culture. We're proud of what we do. Only in Ontario, an average of 13,000 people work in the greenhouse industry. In 2016, Canada produced over a quarter million tons of greenhouse tomatoes. And half of this crop was exported outside our frontiers. And that's why we are the best.